Hey guys, it's Rob from the Lost Bricks. Just arrived at Sally Boots here. As you can see, there's already quite a lot of buyers here. The boot sale starts at 6 o'clock for sellers and 7 o'clock for buyers. A wild, beautiful day. There's a lot of sellers here today. All the way down. I got my bag. Let's go and see if we can find any Lego bargains today. I bought no Lego yet, but we can see a stall. I think he's got Lego on. Let's go and have a look. What's the prices on them? Which one do you want? The Legos. The different ones. Yeah, all different. Which point one? Which ones? Like the Moana or the Harry Potter. Yeah, for 13. Harry Potter's 15. Star Wars is 15. Okay, thank you. Hey guys, as you can see, I'm back in the car and I've got two bags with Lego. Watching them? Well, wait till I get back home and I will show you all. Bye for now. Hello guys, as you can see, I'm back home. It was boiling in the boat here today and it was very, very busy. But don't forget to like, subscribe and ring that bell. It's free. Stay tuned to the end for my top boat sale buying tips. Okay, let's see what I have purchased. In the first bag, the first item is 76217, the Infinity Saga. I am Groot. This set normally retails for £45, but I only paid £20 for him today. I have a few of these, and if you check out my other video I have done, a test for using vouchers and club card discounts, I paid only £22 for him. I will leave a link at the end of the video where you guys can check it out. This set is due to retire this year. The next set I bought was 76382. Hogwarts Moment Transfiguration Class. This is a nice set where you build a book and has three minifigures with this set, with two being unique to this set. I paid £15 for this set. This set retails for £24.99, but it does retire. The next set I purchased is this one 76397 Hogwarts Moment Defense Against the Dark Arts Class. This is a nice set where you build a book. And has three minifigures with all the three minifigures being unique to this set. There's also a trophy figure which is again limited to this set. This was again £15 but retailed before for £24.99 and is also retired. All the sets in this bag he had in the car and I asked did he have any more Lego and he went and got them out the car to show them to me. So don't forget guys to ask questions. Okay let's look in the next bag. The first item I purchased was 76195 Spider-Man's Drone Duo. This was £15, but retail price was only £18. So I know it's only a small saving, but this set is retired. The two figures are unique to this set, with the Vulture and Spider-Man being absolutely awesome in the set. Okay, the next set I bought, purchased was 76939 Steinmark Dinosaur Escape. I bet I said that dinosaur name wrong. This set is awesome. It says four plus, but every Lego Jurassic Park Lego will want this set. It's awesome. It features three minifigures, two are exclusive to this set. Also, the two dinosaurs are exclusive to this set. I paid £10 for this set instead of £15, you not £5 off. This set has also expired, but retails for £34.99. Look at the baby dinosaur, isn't he cute? So, my total spend today at the boot sale was £75. If I bought all these sets retail, it would cost me just under £133. So you can see a massive saving of roughly about 43%. Which sets would you have purchased today? Drop me a message below. Okay, as promised, my top buying tips for the boot sale. Here we go. Number one, arrive early. As you've seen, I arrived about an hour into the start of the boot sale and it was already very, very busy. Number two, don't be afraid to ask for discounts from the sellers. And the best way to get your discount is to ask for a discount for every item you pick up, one by one. And when they give you a total, ask for another discount. In effect, you're getting two discounts. And it's surprising how, how many of the sellers will actually do that. Some without even realizing. Number three, check the item is actually brand new. Either with a black square tape or it's boxed and open, guys, okay? Number four. 
ask, have you got any more Lego? We may have it at home, or as I said, I purchased from, you had more in the car boot. Why not put it all out? I don't know, but some people don't. Number five, do your research before you buy at the store. There's nothing worse than getting your phone out in front of the seller and checking online, such as eBay, Amazon, UK Hot Deals, and other places with different prices. So even know the price beforehand, but if you don't know the price, just say to the seller, oh, I'm gonna go and check with the wife or the kids to see if they got it. Walk away, check, and I'll walk back. There's no seller that's gonna give you a discount when they see you checking on the phone in front of them. Number six, this is the best and most important point I've got. If you don't buy anything, it's fine. Just enjoy yourself, walk around the area. I went to Sully, such a beautiful place. If I miss any tips, feel free to drop me a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. It's free, guys. Bye!